Hey guys, what is up? Eric Hill here, one half of the Hill Twins. And tonight I'm back at it again with another video. As you guys can see, we have another gameplay video for you guys. Xeno Crimson Trunks versus Gogeta Xeno. I really, really wanted to test this matchup just to see where um, set 16 Trunks measures up in the format against other uh, familiar black decks, very powerful black decks such as uh, Gogeta Xeno. Um, and yeah, I really wanted to put it to test, to the test. So, um, you know, I just wanna, just wanna see what this can do. And so, without further ado, we're gonna jump into the gameplay commentary. But before we do that, I want you guys to go ahead and drop a like on this video, guys. Let's get this video to 30 likes. 30 likes. I'll drop the updated. Uh, deck profile of this list um, and you can go ahead and have some fun with it too so um, without further ado let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and jump into the match so um, this match is actually pretty interesting um, I believe I go first I roll something like a 2 and I'm at four, and he rolls like a two on a 20 side of dice. So, um, obviously, if you guys are familiar with this turn one start, I know that I'm playing against Gogeta Zeno, and I know what the, uh, the the height of this deck can do. So, I'll go ahead and I walk my one drop, my, my two drop, and I draw two cards. And now I'm going to summon this guy, because the goal is just to find a super combo. I want to be able to have as much super combos in my hand as much as possible. And, um, you know, that's just going to kind of help me. I know Gogeta Zeno... They're constantly milling the top uh, five cards of their deck. And if they hit their uh, super combos, they're out of luck. So that's kind of my strategy going in. Just to buy my time. Because I know how aggressive this deck can be. So I'll go ahead and pass. And he's just going to go ahead and attack. And I'm like no negates clearly because it's turn one. And I'm going to take the damage. Could have comboed off the, the one drop. But I saw his warp. And um, he didn't have anything uh, in his what for me to be worried about. So um, he didn't have the, the fusion pieces yet. But he does mill five and he does hit that Crimson Trunks, which you're going to see why Gogeta Zeno is nasty with that card. Um, then summoning a one drop and he attacks. He goes to seven life and it's, it's pretty much, you know, just a little bit of aggression. So I'm at six now and I go ahead and I summon my unison and... You know, it's kind of unfortunate because I, I know I'm unable to awaken this turn because I hit the Kai. And, um, you know, yeah, so I was salty because I'm like, oh, man, this would have been an amazing awaken turn. But nonetheless, you know, he's at seven life. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to swing into the Goku, get the free kill. And I don't want to give him any more cards than he has. I think he has about five or six, five cards in his hand. Um, six cards in his hand, rather. And I'm like, I'm just going to leave it like that because you don't have enough cards in hand to deal any crazy damage to me. So, you know, at least Unison should be protected. So I thought. And, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and check his warp. As you guys can see, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in warp. And he has two of those new SSG trunks. And those trunks are, uh, pretty, those trunks are pretty, pretty broken. Um, just for what they're able to do, um, especially in this deck. So he's going to be able to summon that trunks right away and just start applying amazing pressure. And that's exactly what he does. He goes ahead and drops the trunk, trunks. And I'm like, damn, I'm at six life. If I was at five, I have the demon token to gate. And, you know, I could really protect my unison. And he's just gung-ho and just into going into unison. And one of the good things about this this trunk, especially in this Gogeta Xeno deck, is just being able to pull back those three cards. So now he has overall live. And it's just such a powerful turn to play majority of the decks won't be able to get that card off the board because of just it being a 20k and stuff like that so it's, it's pretty powerful um especially against blue it's just like super powerful in turn two Gogeta Xeno 
Um, so we're able to just kind of see what the deck already, how it's transforming for set 16. And um, it's just aggression is just at an all-time high. This is actually better than dropping a Gogeta Xeno because you now have this card on board. You have your overarm live and you have your leader attack. And next turn, you can just start going straight into the Gogeta Xeno package. And you see he was able to even summon his unison. And I'm just dealing with so much pressure here. And he's able to pass. This is big for me because I am at like 10 cards in hand. I go ahead and charge another Gogeta uh, Xeno because I have one in hand. And I also have the overrealm that could pick it up if it does die. So I was okay with charging it. And I'm at five life. I'm just like worried at this point because, you know, I don't know what is the scope of his aggression. I don't know what his deck is completely looking like, but I know what I want to do. So I'll go ahead and drop this um, Gogeta Xeno. And, I, and I'm going to go ahead and infuse, put three cards in the drop. And this is good for me because now I'm going to go ahead and attack leader but i believe yep attack leader and uh you know at this point i'm like i'm gonna just start you know dealing that aggression right back towards you and so you know i'm able to warp his card as you saw he flipped the face down and moved it to the side when that card does leave battle it is removed from the game otherwise the card will be completely nuts um so definitely a fair uh, card in terms of when you're killing it, it doesn't come back from the warp all the time. So you're literally limited to four copies, as you are with other cards. So now I'm able to awaken, and you know, I'm just like, <sighs> this is just a little rough. And so I'll go ahead and attack, I warp, and I'm just like, okay, I have some things that I could do. So I'm gonna go ahead and double strike him. He is at five life right now because I took it from seven to five. So I'm like, you know what? Let's let's be a 35k. I also wanted to fill up my overall. So I got about th three cards in the warp right now. I'm three cards in the, in the drop. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let me be a 35k double. This will put me at six and drop, and now I'm able to overround the six drop and uh, just completely uh, go into just completely go into to this guy here. And um, so I pick up the negate just for next turn because I'm like, you know what? I believe that you know I'm not gonna be able to kill him this turn for sure. Um, I don't even think I can get enough battle cards on board to summon Pan, so I'm just like, you know what? I have Pan, I have, you know, the Demon Token Negate. I should be fine for next turn. And as you guys can see on the top of the screen, his hand is just growing. He has about now 13 or 14 cards in his hand. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, he did awaken. So now, you know, this is where I kind of misplay a little bit. Um, I could have took it easy and just you know, passed, had an energy open for the gate and stuff like that, but I go ahead and I tap two energy because I'm like, yo, you know what? He's at three life. I have the pan. If I set a pan on board, I'll be fine. And I have the blocker in the gate. So blocker in the gate should be able to put enough, um, you know, battle cards on board. And so I go ahead and summon the trunks and then he activates this little Kai and this card is so good against his trunks because when the card is removed from the field by an effect I mean, the card is removed from your battle area it's removed from the game instead so she doesn't even play it when it leaves because it's removed from the game it's not even going to the warp so that is just a really good tech card against this card in particular so you know um, I still do trigger effect pull three back and you know i flip him face down and just move him to the side just to kind of verify or symbolize that he's, he's he's removed from the game and i pass my turn and that was the extent of my turn um you know i i we're at he's going to three energy but the thing about these decks is that they can become so aggressive and such a short amount of time like you know turn two turn three 
it's really you saw what I was able to do on my turn three and what he was able to do on his turn two it's it's, it's not in any capacity um, a, a stretch to say that these these decks can kill each other right here and then um, I am feeling pretty comfortable though I do have the token negate and that's what's good because it did allow me to summon the blocker and I also have two super combos in hand he is going to warp um, he warps my token again and I think that um, so I'm texting him in a chat and I'm like warp the blocker and he's like yep and I think the goal was he, he thought he was going to be able to win this turn um, so that would make sense but I did have the pan so if he summons another battle card I'm just going to drop pan and that's that So he attacks, and I'm like, no negates, um, you know. So I'm like, attacked, cool. <laughs> they attack lead, I'm like, no response. Um, you know, I, I, my nine cards in hand, I, I don't think it's safe to go to three at all. He also has this, um, he also has this, this, this unison that, he can just easily put one under and then minus two. So my goal is to try and stay as high in life as possible. But this 25k, um, do I come out of this? I believe I come out of this. And you can just kind of see where these decks are going. You see how powerful black is right now. Just having access to this aggression, having access to, you know, these new uh, uh, set 16 cards. So he goes to 30, and I'm like, I don't really want to waste two super combos on a single strike. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the damage and call it a day. And so now I'm at three. And, um, you know, he summons this battle card. And, um, you know, I'm like... I'm going to activate another token negate. So he goes ahead and he picks up um, this guy. Then he attacks. So he, so because he overwhelmed, he, we now had four, four battle cards in play. And he attacked with the overwhelm. So I go ahead and I pan on this attack because I didn't want him to try any other shenanigans. And, um, you know, I still have the blocker negate in hand, which allows me to be very safe. And he goes ahead and he drops this double strike on it. And, you know, I'm like, if I take this damage, he has about 15 cards on warp at this point. And if I take this damage at all, um, he can instantly attack with the unison. I'm at one and he can dump as well as minus two. Because pen does not stop, you know, pen only stops battle cards. So at this point, I'm like, damn, you know, this is rough. I got to use these super combos. I really wanted to use these super combos going into my kill turn. And it just wasn't possible. He is at four life still. So he's sitting, you know, he's still at three life, I believe. So he's sitting pretty comfortable. Uh, so I go ahead, excuse me guys, I go ahead and combo out and I'm at 25, 35, 45, 50. And this is good because it does build up my warp, I mean my drop for next turn. And I'm just like, man, um, I'm just like, man, you know, that, that did a number on me. Because now I'm at six cards in hand, no super combos, and you know, but I do have a pin. So I go ahead and charge. This block and the gate that I drew, and um, I'm like, okay, summon this guy. My only go, he may have pan, so he is at two life. Sorry, guys, he's at two life. So my only goal is to just search for a super combo, and you know, just try to attack with the Gogeta. You know, if he did, he doesn't. He used over him, so I know he doesn't have any warp. For um, you know the, the one drop um, spark in the gate, 
I summon another one of these guys, and I'm able to search for my Vegeta. And this is why this card is so good, especially going into the later game. And at this point, I know I'm just trying to build as much combo power as possible because I know that um, I know that he may have a pan. So I'm just like, if you pan on my Gogeta Xeno swing, I'm just dumping. So I go ahead and tap another energy because I have no hard 10Ks in my hand. So I tap another energy, special summon one of the guys from War, you know, just to go ahead and just get another piece of 5K combo. And, um, you know, I'm just kind of building up the board for this for this one attack with Gogeta Xeno. And I had another one in there. I just didn't want to use it because I said maybe I'll draw a double strike and have a 10K. Uh, combo. So I go ahead and put this demon token in the gate, and I had to shuffle the deck because I, I didn't shuffle it from peeping. But um, but yeah. So unfortunately, didn't draw another 10k, but it was perfectly fine because I had the 10k for the um, the pan, and so now I'm going out, and I'm just like, you know, you're at two life. I'm gonna just double strike you for game right here. Um, so I'm just counting that up. So that's. The Gogeta is 25, the Super Combo is 35, Pan is 45, 55, 65, 70, 80, 90. So I'm a 90k double strike at this point. He has around 7 or 8 cards in his hand, 2 life, 5k combo on board. In my head, there's just no way you can get out of this. Um, and you see him use 2 Super Combos, and that's pretty good. Um, you know, it gets a little bit more, um, you know, reach, but I don't think he, he got up to 80k. And um, that was that was the gist of it. He got up to 80k combo to my uh, 90k, um, and so that's how the match went. If I was to analyze the match, um, you know, but Gogeta Zeno has so much tools, it is hard to deal with, especially when they have access to warp and much more cards than you for free which is very, very, very powerful. Trunks does do something different, which also feels good, but it feels like Gogeta Xeno is just polarizing because of its early aggression, its early fuse materials, um, you know? And so it's, 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 it depends. It's, 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 it's a weird matchup. Um, I'm able to use some of the same battle cards that they're using which obviously gives me an edge and i can also build my gogeta xeno faster just because i can choose what to warp so that's a plus um and i can awaken faster so that's also a plus uh, but ultimately it was a great game so shout outs to chris who was uh you know veggie pixu pimp <laughs> on untapped and uh, yeah, it was a great game. Um, but yeah, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, please leave a like. It helps the video grow. I want to know if we can get this video to 30 likes, guys. Let's aim for 30. Um, and I'll get you an updated trunks list for you guys. I personally have been playing black. I love black, as you can see. <laughs> not much it. but um you know I, I love it and it feels amazing um and it's really fun so you know i know eon has um the red deck he's gonna be start he's gonna start testing so you'll be able to see those as well coming up soon uh so yeah stay tuned guys but um you guys know the vibes thank you so much for tuning in and like always stay super my guys